Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is part four for Angular step by step guide. So if you are directly coming uh, to this video, I will recommend you to watch previous video. You can find the link in the description block. So today we are going to study about component. So this is the application we are going to create. Now let's talk about component. Component are the most basic UI building blocks of an Angular app. An Angular app contains a tree of Angular components and Angular components are subset of directives always associate with the template unlike other directives. Only one component can be instantiated per an element in a template. A component must belong to an ng module in order for it to be available to another component or application or to make it member of ng module list it in the declaration field of the ng module metadata so these three terms we uh, once we start we will go through in the detail so let's open our visual code so this is the application we created in the previous session and uh, previously uh, we created uh, three module account module dashboard module and to do module and we have a default app module from where the bootstrap process is getting a start so now uh, we are going to create a component for it so now if i will consider uh, this application so we are having this four uh, pages one is dashboard uh, one is to do and uh, another two is for login and registration and uh, if we observe uh, we are having this common link dashboard to do and logout in the dashboard and to do page but uh, we don't have that links in the login and registration so once a user get login then only he can see this dashboard to do and logout screen so to create that uh, if i will think uh, first i need one kind of layout common layout for this link which contains dashboard to do and logout so i will create one home component for this so it will have only this link and another component i'm going to create for dashboard which will contains all this dashboard block and i will create uh, another component for to do this will contain this to do grid along with the paging and uh, i will create uh, one more component which will not have uh, this uh, links that is uh, login component and another component is for register components so, so let's create this so now let's create our first component which is home component that is layout for our account in dashboard so right click on app folder and click on new file and the give name is home dot component dot ts and create a class export we need to export this class and i'm creating home component class so as previously when we created a module so i i told you that uh, how we can uh, how you can know that is a module so we have that ng module decorator on top of that class then we can identify that class is a module similar to this for component we have component decorator so let's add that component decorator So our visual code intelligence added this uh, dependency. So inside this, uh, we can add few properties as per our requirement. So we need a selector. So this selector is a string which identifies our component on DOM. So let's give name is like a app dash home. 
similarly we have template and template url so we can assign the url of template or we can give the inline template so suppose i'm giving this as an inline template hello from home and uh, that's two things basically we need and uh, let's go back to our uh, definition so as per definition a component must belong to an ng module in order for it to be available to another component or application so did we associate with the ng module no so let's do this so this our home component should be a root component and uh, we should associate it with the app module so let's copy this home component and open our app module so we should declare this so let's copy and paste it here and let's add the dependency yeah so now we have associate our home component and it should uh, work perfectly so let's quickly test this so i'm what i'm going to do is i will copy the selector and uh, open our app component dot html and uh, let's add one break statement and now let's paste the selector here and now i'm going to run our application i should see our home component so let's run it's compiled successfully now control and then plus click on this link yeah so i can see hello from home message so now our come home component is working perfect so now uh, let's add a remaining component that is a register component login component dashboard component and to do component so i am going to use angular cli this time so in the terminal window just type ng c for component ng g for generate c for component and we are going to create for account module so let's select account folder here and then we can give name is a login now let's verify yeah so it's created new folder and we are having new login component similarly i am going to create a registration component so let's enter yeah so now we are having this register component now this two component should associate with the account module for our account feature module so we can see the entry in the login and register component so that association part is uh, doing by angular cli so we don't need to do manually now i am going to create a dashboard component so similar to that ng generate component and now our folder is dash board and i am going to give name is dashboard let's enter yeah so we are having dashboard component now and uh, similar to that i am going to create to do component currently we don't have anything now let's run the same command and now folder should be to do and i am giving the name is to do yeah so it's created our to do component we can see this folder and let's verify if we have entry in the feature module yeah we are having entry in the to do component and 
we are having entry for dashboard component as well so now we have created uh, all the components required for our to do application now i'm coming back to definition so this is the first point like components are the most basic ui building blocks of an angular app an angular app contains a tree of angular components so let's see so now under the app folder we can see our component so this is our app component this is our root component and we are having this login component register component and dashboard component to do component so it's like a tree structure components we are having that's all for component and in the next video we will add uh, navigation for our to do and uh, dashboard and we will add our routing for our application thank you for watching